Westmead doctors are using a new form of bypass surgery to prevent women with breast cancer experiencing lifelong complications after treatment. Their innovation is an Australian first and it could be applied to other cancers. The injection of this green medical dye and a special infrared camera is detecting blockages in the arm, a common complication from breast cancer surgery. For 28-year-old Erhe Howell, her diagnosis was shocking enough. Potential side effects from treatment added to her stress. I know that we had to remove my lymph nodes as well, so I heard a lot of things about lymphedema and the impacts of lymphedema. Swelling, pain, um, difficulty with motion. There's some of the problems, including sepsis, up to 45% of patients risk developing when removing all of the lymph nodes in the armpit. When that happens, um, all the fluid is trapped. Here at Westmead Hospital, specialist plastic surgeon Dr Frank Sear uses instruments with ultra-fine tips to perform intricate bypass surgery. Without these instruments, it's very difficult for us to join these very fine vessels together. Vessels are reconnected using stitches half the width of a human hair to prevent fluid congestion. So you can imagine this is like a traffic in front of you. We divert the traffic away. Erhe has bounced back, one of 20 patients who had the procedure and all are lymphedema free. I was told that you can't really do certain things, you can't lift too heavy, you can't, um, you, you have to wear a sleeve and I haven't had to do any of those things. It's been really good. Dr Sear plans to expand the program to 400 patients a year, but the benefits extend beyond breast cancer. The technique could be applied to melanoma and gynaecological cancers. Well, what a really important innovation, showing that our very best and brightest are here in New South Wales. It's given Erhe light at the end of a gruelling year of chemotherapy, a double mastectomy and radiation. It's a story of hope for many women who, like me, have toughed out medical treatment and they're just looking for a bit of relief. At Westmead, Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.